overqualified? Does experience in government make you a good president? Richard Nixon had lots of political experience. President Eisenhower didn't have any. So let's go to our panel of political experts. A Democrat, Newsday columnist Ellis Hennigan, a Republican, author and movie maker Dinesh D'Souza, and a Libertarian, the new editor-in-chief of Reason Magazine, Catherine Mangu Ward. So, Catherine, she's so qualified. So, obviously, experience does not make you qualified to be president. What it does do is minimize the downside risk. And I think that's where we are at this point. We're just hoping for something short of a complete and utter disaster. She'd be a bad president, but she probably won't be an insane and disastrous president. That's my silver lining for you. <laughs> I hope you're right. Dinesh, you, you're more negative. Well, yeah, the Trump door to me is, um, has got a lot of question marks on it. And that's because when you're an unknown, you come out of nowhere, that's your strength, but it's also your weakness. To me, the Hillary door has the sign, a known crook. Now, of course, we've had crooks in American politics. We found out that they were crooks. We threw them out. With Hillary, we know in advance. You uh, on the phone so, said she's experienced, experienced in delusion, crony capitalism, lies, and larceny. If you actually have to recite her accomplishments, um, for example, as, as a senator, you can't think of a single piece of legislation. Well, let's get to that, because a week ago, Hillary picked Senator Tim Kaine to be her vice president. And in his convention speech, Kaine claimed that when Hillary was a senator, even Republicans liked her. Republican senators who, once they have made sure that nobody is listening, will tell you how fantastic a senator that Hillary Clinton was. They liked her. Yeah. Experience is necessary but not sufficient. Let's agree on that, right? You don't want a total idiot in the job, or someone who has shown no inclination to perform in some kind of basically responsible and balanced way. It's not enough, but I mean, isn't that something we want? Sure, but in the Senate, the only bills she introduced that became law were bills to rename a post office, a highway, and make the American Labor Studies Center at a national historic site. Or, or look at her Secretary of State. She traveled, her main thing is I traveled millions of miles. But you can't think of a single treaty, a single pact, a single, not even a conference, not even a seminar that is associated with her at all. The only thing we, th what we hear about is all the money that the Clintons pocketed privately by marketing American foreign policy to foreign despots, Canadian billionaires, all kinds of shady characters. And she's changing positions to advance. Gay marriage, gun control, the Keystone Pipeline, fracking. Now she says, I'm going to stop fossil fuels. There will be not many places in America where fracking will continue. I mean, this is just you, hypocrisy. You know what this is? No, it's not hypocrisy. What it is is it's stuff you say about someone who you don't like for some other reason. It was all the same things people said about Barack Obama. And you know what? He had a hugely consequential presidency. I mean, I know not everyone loves everything he did. <laughs> I but agree he with He certainly that. did a lot and changed any number of parts of the uh, uh, America, I, I think, for the better. So that's honestly, uh, as long as you agree with what the person wants to do, that, those are resume items, aren't it's they? It's also, though, I mean, they, if you are a politician, you have a bunch of flip-flops on your record. And I think it's still reasonable, even if it, it's true for all politicians, mm -hmm. to call her out about that and to say, listen, you, you know, you can't say, I'm running on my experience. By the way, ignore the part of my experience where I disagree Libertarian with Libertarian politicians now. don't flip-flop. We have core principles. I would like to believe that <laughs> that's luck. true. But unfortunately, libertarian politicians are also still yeah. politicians. Uh, Hillary was Secretary of State four years. Uh, she's a Democrat, and she supported just about every war and pushed for others that the president didn't want. And this is a moment where when you hear Republicans say, I respect Hillary's you know, term as Secretary of State, you should be nervous, right? I mean, bipartisan consensus in Washington very frequently means both parties are getting together to do something horrible. And I think, you know, Hillary is one of the most warlike Democrats out there.